how weird is it when you get the shootout win, but you know your season is over? Um, yeah, it's a weird one. I mean, preferably we don't go to the shootout and we go home with a three point straight away and then we know the job's done. But um, yeah, it is a weird feeling, but ultimately we come in here knowing that we needed to get the job done and get the three points and then there would have been no questions or relying on, on uh, other teams. But um, yeah, at the end of the day, we've, we didn't get the three points and then our, our season's where it is now. But we gave it everything we had today. I don't think there's any questions asked about that. We had opportunities to put the ball away, but, but we, uh, we just didn't end up hitting the back of it enough. When the game ended, but the shooting hadn't begun yet, did you guys know, or had that not particularly um, gotten out on the field yet? I mean, we had an idea from the lads that were that were on the bench. I mean, I was off at the end after being subbed out, so I had an idea. But obviously, you don't want to relay that information to the boys because at the end of the day, they've, they've still got a job to do with a penalty shootout. And uh, yeah, we come out victorious in that. But unfortunately, it doesn't doesn't really matter right now. You talk about the goal and just tell me kind of through the goal from what you saw. Uh, yeah, I mean it's all a bit of a blur because you get caught up in the excitement of scoring a goal, especially in a game of this magnitude. But I saw Taylor, I think it was Taylor anyway, just laid the ball across. I mean their their keeper and their defender were both hesitant, allowed the gap to open up, and I just saw the ball there. Just really just tried to get contact to it, but I knew the contact was going to come. And then I didn't really see the ball go in. I just heard the roar of the fans, and then yeah. That, 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 that's all it was, really. It's got to be a great feeling, though. Yeah, I mean, it's been a long time coming for myself as well. I mean, I've not scored yet this year, which is uh, quite disappointing for myself. But, I mean, it was nice to get one on the last day of the season. What was that conversation like between you and the guys and the team after the match? Um, it was really just uh, Chris relaying how, how proud he is of us. Because, I mean, as you guys know, we've been through... Uh, we've been through an interesting stage the last, the last week or two with... Uh, with the departure of Rod, um, but yeah, it was really just him saying how proud he's of us, and also us relaying to him like how proud we are of him and the rest of the coaching staff because it's not easy for them either. I mean, for for Chris to step into the into the shoes of Rod, who's been here for three years, um, it's not easy for him. But I know I can speak on behalf of all the players. I mean, we've really enjoyed working with Chris. He's a great guy, a great coach, um, and yeah, I mean it's. It's been we've picked up four or five points with a shootout win in the last two games, but we really left ourselves a lot to do uh, from from previous games. But um, yeah, that that chat was just about really just saying how proud we are of each other. We've been through ups and downs all season. Not been the season ultimately we wanted all round, but yeah, we, we've we've stuck together as much as we could. So that's all it was. Obviously not a great feeling right now, but how do you look back at the whole season as a whole, first year in the league, having a chance to make it to the postseason? How have you just evaluated the ups and downs of this whole season? Um, it really has been ups and downs. We started the year flying uh, with the wins, and then we, we really looked at it as if to say we can, we can try and take this league by storm. Some could say we got maybe a little bit complacent, um, but it, like I say, it's a new league, very interesting league it's a weird league everyone beats each other I mean you look at the last day of the season I think there was three four five teams that could have picked up that last spot in the playoffs um, so yeah it was a weird a weird year of ups and downs um, but yeah it was a it was a fun fun journey nonetheless just a shame it's come to come to an end today we would have really loved to have gone on a on a playoff run and really pushed to the end but here we are do you have any word for for the fans? I, I, I noticed in their celebration, you know, you, you yeah. kind of look to the yeah. general yeah. section, and in particular, like kind of the fist pump there. Like, what what do they mean to you and, and the team? Oh, I mean, yeah, there's goosebumps now. I mean, they're everything. They're the reason why we come out. They spend their hard-earned money, and a lot of them, this is what they look forward to to the end of their week. They work a nine to five or whatever job they do, and this is their this is their release. So we we love them. We thank them dearly. Um, and yeah, just really can't thank them enough. I mean, they, they've been with us through the ups, through the downs, through everything. They've supported us no matter what, no matter what's going on. Constantly singing people's names, singing for, for us, for, for the managers, for the coaching staff. Um, I wish I could go on, but I mean, there's not really enough words. They're, they're just such a, a massive part of the club and without them, ultimately, the club wouldn't be where it is today. So we can just thank them immensely for, for everything this season. And um, just sorry from us guys that we couldn't, that we couldn't go any further.